Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. It's a full house again in space as three new crew members arrived at their new home for the next six months. NASA's Terry Virts, along with Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov and European astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti, launched Sunday from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The three chased after the ISS and their Soyuz spacecraft for about six hours before docking successfully. After checkouts were complete, hatches were opened and the station crew doubled in size. On Thursday, the crew members gathered for traditional Space Thanksgiving, with a spread that was probably similar to what was on your table. This is smoked turkey, so I'm gonna have some smoked turkey. This here is uh, cornbread dressing. Rehydrate that, that's gonna be mighty tasty. The crew treated themselves to cranberry pie for dessert, and Will Moore enjoyed his favorite beverage, Southern style sweet tea. This week's Twitter question is from Vishnu, who asks if the crew can move around in the Soyuz between launch and docking. Well, yes, they can, and anyone who's been on a six-hour road trip knows just how good it can feel to stretch your legs. The Soyuz has two sections that the crew can access, the descent module and the orbital module. The orbital module is equipped with a toilet and a small galley that can be accessed once the craft is in space. It's still a pretty tight fit though, especially for crews on previous missions that had to spend two days en route to the International Space Station. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.